If you want to end, uh, welcome to TikTok with Chad. And in this episode, I'm going to be showing you a sweet program called Rich FLV. Now, this is for the Adobe Air platform. Um, so, if you don't have Adobe Air, go to Google search Adobe Air. Uh, Rich FLV, I'll include a download link in the video description. And what this is, is this is a really small program that is, it's an FLV editor. Uh, and this is useful because, uh, as you might know, most uh, video uh, sharing companies now use FLV as their primary uh, media, like YouTube, Ustream, um, and all those sites. So uh, having an FLV editor is uh, really really comes in handy. And this is a really powerful free one uh, for the Adobe Air platform. So let's just open it up right here. And as you can see, it takes it's a very quick, very responsive. Um, it's in beta. Um, and now it looks very simple. It's very clean, very simple, but very powerful. Uh, now, obviously, you can't do anything like uh, it's not an advanced editor. Like uh, you can't add text overlays or anything. It's basically for simple cutting, cropping, and that basic editing. Or it can, it's all also has its own built-in uh, converter, which is also very useful. So to open up your file, let's go to File, Open, and uh, let's pick a file I have here. I'll go into my Documents, Videos. And I have a live broadcast that I did uh, uh, yesterday, it, and it, I was on uh, YouTube, or no, it was on Ustream, and I need to download the file. It came in an FLV, so here's my file here. It'll read it, analyze it. Right now, it's processing here, and the bottom will show you the video tags, sound tags, keyframe tags, and data tags. As you can see, it's gonna start doing those right now, uh, and it's done analyzing it. It's all in there. There's Mia. There's the video, and this is all the stuff down here. This is the metadata. Uh, you have a metadata creator, and uh, you can mess around with all this stuff. Keyframes, frame rate, uh, your audio sample rate, data size, um, file size, height, all that stuff. Ha if it's stereo or not, um, all that stuff. And you can add things. Uh, you can delete. Um, and then over here, you have your cue points. Uh, and this is basically what uh, for creating S uh, um, SWF files, uh, those flash files where you can jump to certain parts in the video using cue points. That's I'm showing you how to do the FLV editing, so I'm not going to get into this. The keyframes is what you're normally going to be using. Here has a list of all the keyframes in the video. This is a 95-minute video, so it does have quite a lot of keyframes. If you look down the bottom here, you have your basic uh, play and stop buttons, um, and here. This little orange thing is basically what's let, what lets you stroll to any point in the video, very smooth. Uh, and then down here, uh, um, let me just go back to this uh, keyframe thing. Here it says set in point and the set out point. In point is basically, this is for cutting and cropping. The in point is what point your video starts at. The out point is the video, is what where it ends. So let's say I want to crop a small section of, of the video out. Let's say I want to have it start here. So I'll just drag that little thing down there, the little black bar, over to where I want to the video to start. The in point changes to what frame it's at. And then let's change the out point. So let's crop the out point down to here. So let's make a really, really short and sweet video. So it has set in, now it has the in point and the out point set. So let's go down and play that. Just make sure it's what we want. Right, so it goes through all that. Now, let's say you want to save this as its own separate video file. Ju not, not any else, just this little highlighted stuff. Go to File, Save As. And uh, now let's go to my desktop and we'll save it as Test. Save. So now you'll see on my desktop, it's right up here, my test. So I'll open it with, uh, let's, let's choose VLC. I'll open up VLC, open file, and go down to all files. Here we have test. Let's open that up. As you can see, it's not a 95 minute video. It's just a very small video. And that's the stuff that I had selected in the in point and out points. Um, and let's go back to Rich's whole view here. And, of course, you can always change those. 
at any time. You can just move them around and all that. Um, and yeah, that's all good. And over here, let's explore some more. You have the export. And what the export does, you can export as an FLV. FLV with a sound only. Audio, SWF, XML, JPEG, PNG, or FLV with no sound. Uh, import, you can import an, FL, uh, an MP3, FLV, or Q points, options. You can change your aspect ratio, your scale, uh, JPEG compression. Um, you can create new Q points. Uh, and with Windows, show video player only. Or you can just like that. And it works very smoothly, as you can see. Hide info panel, hide control panel, and then under about, you have the info and all that. So there you have it. Rich FLV, a great free FLV editor, the Adobe Air platform. Um, I have having to spend a lot of time with it uh, over the past day editing that two hours of video. And I must admit, I love it. I'm going to be keeping this program and using it for future uh, uh, FLV stuff. And if, if you're going to be into uh, Ustream broadcasting or anything that involves FLV files or converti converting FLV files, this is a tool for you. As I said, free. I'll include the link to both Adobe Air and to Rich FLV in the description. And that's all for this video. And have a great day.